I've never been on, you know, a NASCAR track ever, you know? So like looking up the walls, they're so steep. And I'm like, oh my God. And we got to drive on the turn deal that in our van van. I'm like, oh dude, moment of silence. <laughs> like, like, dude, it was just unreal. I discovered Devil's Cut uh, I, through, I, th- I want to say it was TikTok, right? So my TikTok is just like, music and like comedy videos <laughs> like that's, when i scroll through my for you page it's just like new bands and comedy and i happened upon you guys and i was like holy crap i love this so i i went to i think instagram i started to find you guys on spotify i was so so excited because i love what you do growing up uh, uh in kentucky and and being around country and then being a metal fan too like it's really really cool to see to see somebody kind of like merging those together in such a, a, a an awesome way yeah. so i would love for you we're, we're not the only, no, no that's true that's true but 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 what you guys do is really really cool and really original no dude i appreciate it man it, it's <laughs> tiktok they so we had another account for the longest time and cody uh cody ash was kind of manning it because we all kind of delegated jobs for every member in the band you know right. and he's not Band, but he is like the sixth silent member. I mean, <laughs> and uh, he was like, I got the TikTok. And we're like, okay, cool. And, you know, everyone else is in our own thing. Well, um, we never really dove into the world of TikTok personally. You know, we just kind of left it, it him thing. And he was like, man, I'm just getting so busy. Y'all are going to have to take it over. And I was like, man, okay. And uh, he forgot the login. We couldn't figure out how to get in the old account. <laughs> <laughs> really doing anything you know mm-hmm. so he was like you know what just start a new one and uh i was like okay and i started researching like there are certain times every day of the week to post um and like even video links like like it, i mean it's very in-depth as far as like how to do it right <laughs> so i started a crash course on tiktok <laughs> and uh and uh, that that account has only been like it's six weeks, and um, like we already have like way more followers than we did before, and it, it all because of just studying the algorithms and stuff, and the response we have gotten. Like, the, the, I don't know what video you saw, but the, the video is like seven months old, so oh. it's just we're treating it like a new single, which is awesome. Better late than ever. I'm not complaining, yeah. but uh, I posted it at, like eight o'clock on a Saturday night. And I didn't think anything of it because I'm like, is this one really going to watch TikTok on a Saturday night, you know? <laughs> Dude, it just went crazy. And I'm like, and it was, to me, it was like, we have better videos. <laughs> 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 you know? Like, Dude, it's just been wild, man. I, I, I'm like, man, TikTok is another f-ing world. It really is. <laughs> it certainly is. Yeah. Um, okay. So I, I want to say the first, I think the first video I saw was, was cross the line because that was your most recent single yeah that was the most recent one. so yeah. i feel like i feel like that's what i scrolled past first and i was like oh okay and then oh that one. checking things right. the insomnia video where i'm like stone cold in the beer that that one is just the one that just yeah. kind of okay, so, all right that's a good one. no that's a good one too but i i really i feel like it was cross the line um okay so how about this can you give us kind of introduce us a little bit to the band and tell me a little bit about sort of where Devil's Cut, how that, how you guys formed. Because you weren't you weren't around before like 2019, or am I wrong about that? Well, so we this this was like a passion project. I, w- I was in another band prior to this, and we were doing okay, uh, but um, life took over. Like our drummer at, of of that band um, got married, had a kid, you know, and he didn't want us. To- not playing music but he kind of had to you know and it was kind of like a sad day like it's like oh man i'm gonna miss you i know but <laughs> it, it, it was a mutual thing we're still really tight and uh, we ended up getting the drummer we have for devil's cut and we ended up adding a second guitar so so we started adding all these new elements to the band and uh cody ash uh drummer jelly roll used to be in styler um uh, he's been kind of well he's our official manager now back then he was more like a I'm going to give you guidance. You know, he wasn't like as hands on it. <laughs> yeah. And we, we had our first meeting um, when we got the the band members together, we were sitting outside of PBR in Louisville, Kentucky, you know, and uh, 
Cody sitting there and, and I love country music. He definitely does. And he was like, okay, guys, I have this idea. I think country and metal is about to merge. And he honestly was completely fucking right. It was like yes. 2018 when we had this meeting and we're all sitting there and it was like, I mean, I hear what you're saying, man, but like, what do you mean? Like, I mean, it's it like, we, we didn't, we knew the idea, but we didn't quite under understand it. And some of our early demos for devil's cut, it, it was kind of all over the place. Cause we're trying to find our sound, you know, trying to find the right, you know, like the balance. And, um, we it, it honestly really started honing in for us in like 2020 when we really started like okay this is our sound i think this is what we need to be doing because i mean up until then we 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 had an idea but we really had no f-ing clue we just knew what we wanted to do and <laughs> have the over the top aesthetics like yeah we're from kentucky we fish we, we hunt you know like we we bush light you know um <laughs> just over the top you know, just up with it you know like uh, it, like just rep where we're from and it seems more real because it is and it's just more reset received you know and uh hats off to cody man like uh, we were all like Do you really, this is gonna work <laughs> just, <laughs> not not saying we're anything huge but like i de- definitely seen more traction with this and any other project that i've ever been a part of and uh, even even some of the stuff we got going on this year that really hasn't announced yet, it, it's like unreal because we're doing this DIY. We're not on a label or anything. We're, we're self-funded. We, we all work multiple jobs. We work like dogs just to fund what we really want to do. Wow. So it, it's uh, but even with that being said, doing it self-funded, the 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 kickback is such a reward. You know what I mean? Like it, it really, truly feels like it's paying off, you know? So it, it's just been a wild ride, man. It really has. That's cool, man. Yeah. No, look, I think what, you know, what you're saying is important. I mean, you guys are just, you're just working class dudes making country metal and funding it yourself. I mean, that's, that's that authenticism. Uh, is that a word? Working three <laughs> jobs. Three. And like, dude, I have two. Like me and, uh, uh have you ever heard of Bruce? Say that again. Yes. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm really not close. Yeah. yeah, Kevin. Kevin is a homie, the drummer, and me and him just opened a bar in Jeffersonville, Indiana. So oh, cool. Yeah, it's it's a rock bar. It's it, it's I love it. It's such a f- vibe, but it's a country rock bar, man. You'll go in there and hear Chelsea Grin, and then hear Brantley Gilbert. You know what I mean? It, like, <laughs> all over. <laughs> it's 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 a lot of people, you know. That's and cool. uh, like, dude, we're f-ing busy, but like, it, it's just. We'll get a call from Cody. Did it last week. I, I leave for Nashville Tuesday, and I'm I was only supposed to go for two days. He was like, "Yeah, you're going to be staying all week." And I'm like, "Oh, man. <laughs> okay, sure." Uh, <laughs> like, what plans I had? Okay, I, got, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just it is what it is. And, yeah. and pursuing this, you kind of got to just drop what you're doing and go for it, you know. So, uh, but it, dude, we're so busy, but we're doing it. <laughs> it's no I, sleep. I, coffee man. <laughs> i saw i saw that uh, uh you guys were doing some writing recently yeah um we've been getting some really good co-writes um the most recent one was i mean they're they've all been pretty surreal but i'm a huge morgan wallen fan i think wow. everyone in america is and we got a writing session with luke his bassist Wow. Uh, that, that's in his bed. He's in the mechanics. They do the metal covers too of Morgan Wallen. So I don't know if you ever heard that. Have you ever? No, heard that's that? funny. Though. That's cool. Our band does um, like gent metal versions of Morgan Wallen songs. It's his entire band minus Morgan Wallen, and it's sick. so crazy. But uh, they're he's they're they're all metalheads, and uh, we got a write with him and a guy named Serge Sanchez, who is Bailey Zimmerman's vocal coach and was oh, Morgan. Man. Um, original guitarist so it was really unreal because we're just sitting yeah. there and like you know they're like dude yeah let's bridge the gap and it's it, it the song came out sick and uh it, it was just really wild because i'm a huge fan you know like sure, i'm like sure. they're cool as shit. And i was like all right hell yeah <laughs> and so i think we have this like little thing where we're, we're probably going to continue to write songs with them and because it came out great it was a great session we're friends now and uh it, it's it's just yeah just really un- run real some of the people that you know it's it's it seems like such a big world but then when you get to nashville specifically it's so small like mm-hmm. i mean every, everyone and you'll eventually run into someone you know so yeah. it's just how that works 
it is funny. I like I'll I I've had situations where like I'll I'll be setting up uh you know an interview with someone and find out that that person is like oh they can't do it this day because they're doing this with this person and I'm like that's so that's so weird that like that you guys know each other and like I'm either setting up an interview with that other person also or have been trying to and like you're right it's a small world but it's a big world like it's kind of hard to yeah it's it's freaking wild and, like even even our main producer uh, Andrew Bayless um, he we met him he was in a band long ago called Nonchrons. Okay. And they were out on tour with uh, uh, Nonpoint. It was Nonpoint. And oh, my sure. old up for him. And he was like, hey, man, I really want to work with you guys. This was like 2017, 2016. But he lived in Cleveland at the time. And even back then was one of the best producers, like engineers. I, I mean, like he he's really good. And I knew he was going to take off. And he was doing well back then out of Cleveland. And he up and moved to Nashville got tight with jelly roll he's jelly roll's main producer now he did son of a center all oh my stuff. god that's so cool awesome and like we're stoked we're like dude you deserve this you know like he <laughs> ranks really quick and uh i mean like he's doing songs with like he did the sleeping with sirens record he did uh oh, the, wow. G the giovanni uh, and the outlaws i think that's, yeah, yeah i know who you're talking about yes yeah he did he did their new record uh not nothing more he's working on nothing more record like like just all this she's all over the place yeah we're like hey man don't forget us you know but that what you talking but, about but, you know, what cody it's, said it's small world man because i know him from cleveland you know and like now he's like mm. down there those bailiffs like he's a guy everyone wants to work with down there and so crazy <laughs> Awesome. It's awesome. But yeah, it, it's, it's pretty wild. Pretty Good wild. One. Are you originally from Cleveland, Trey? No, no, I'm born and raised Kentucky. Okay. 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 I am from Cleveland. See, I was born in Cleveland. Oh, no. Okay. And then grew it, up in Western Kentucky. I, only thing I hate about it is the weather, man. Like, <laughs> I remember it's pretty cold. <laughs> I went up there. And it was like January, which should have, I should have not, but I went up there and, uh, there was no snow on the ground. No, none at all. And then um, we had a session and then I was like, all right, well, I'm heading back home. I'm going to get started now and open up the front door. And it was like a foot and a half of snow. And I was like, what just happened. They're like, yeah, you're going to have to stay. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, like, oh you know, and I was like, I, I can't. And I ended up getting stuck there for like two days. I, I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds about right. <laughs> um, um, no, go ahead. What were you gonna say? No, no, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> but it, it it really is bitter cold like that. Um, you guys played um, the big the the big uh, is it louder than life in Louisville. I've done louder yet. We did uh, Rockville. The, Rockville. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Threes up for Dale, dude. That was wild. We we actually. <laughs> It was, it was so surreal, like getting pulled because we actually got to drive in our in our van. They bring bands in on the actual racetrack. And oh, wow. like I've never been on, you know, a NASCAR track ever, you know. So like looking up the walls, they're so steep. And I'm like, oh, my God. And we got to drive on the turn deal out in our van. van. I'm like, oh, dude, moment of silence. <laughs> like, like, dude, it was just unreal. Wow. And we were like, this is really happening right now. It, it's just it, it was a wild experience. It was really fun cool hot too it was like 115 we played oh my like, gosh twist it and water would have poured out it was insanely hot but it was a great it, it was a great time we played right before bad omens and they're doing great now too yeah, so they're, yeah they're, those guys are doing big right now so what so you got you've been you've been practicing you've been writing tracking a little bit maybe yeah we're what? right now writing and recording mm -hmm. um Found out we we have a lot of demos, like a lot, and we're what we do is typically try to write as much as we can, and then uh, pick what we feel are the best ones we want to release, at least for now. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we'll take it to Bayless and be like, "Hey, here's a batch of songs," and he'll <laughs> he'll pick the ones he thinks are best, you know, which works out. Uh, but but right now we're just trying to stockpile songs for like a, a hopefully hopefully spring but at least summer release and just start beeline and content going into the fall because our fall is looking pretty busy <laughs> so oh, that's it's a nice tease that's good to know man that's awesome yeah it's gonna be fun <laughs> cool. well trey listen man i really appreciate you taking time to chat today thank you so much people can find you on social instagram 
Uh, yeah, all TikTok, of- Facebook, all that stuff.